today on the grid, it's grib. <laughs> it's grid grab bag. There we go. Say that three times real fast, <laughs> which just means we got a bunch of different stuff today. We got some special guests joining us via the internet, including the legendary Joe McNally, who is going to be coming to us live from the WPPI show out in Las Vegas. Dan's going to show us some amazing AI noise reduction stuff, and we've got lots of news and a bunch of other junk. The Real Rocket Man is here. We've got some very cool giveaways for some folks who are watching the show live today. It's going to be what I predict a fun, fun day on the grid, and it all starts in just 23.2 seconds. Let's go! Grid is brought to you by Platypod, the tripod alternative that is changing the world. Everybody has a Platypod. You should too. Go to platypod.com. <laughs> hey, everybody, uh, welcome. Time is flying today in the time countdowns. Time flying in the countdown. We went from like a minute to 30 seconds, like to, in to two boom. seconds. But uh, anyway, we're live now. We're glad you guys are here. And we have a very interesting show today. We're calling it Grid grid grad bag because we don't know what to call it but we just have a bunch of different stuff we have some really fun stuff and we got some great guests a little later dan is going to be here he's going to show us some of their latest uh noise reduction ai stuff which is just mind-blowing stuff right uh, so that's coming up but right now in las vegas at a craps table <laughs> to where he just said oh. baby needs a new pair of shoes as he was rolling the dice is uh, our good, our dear, our dear friend and colleague Joe McNally? There he is. Oh, hey, there he is. <laughs> How's it going, guys? Yeah, the the crap stable in Vegas is my long term financial plan. <laughs> I like it's, it. It's it's. I found it to be more stable than photography. Actually, <laughs> <laughs> there's probably a lot of truth to that. <laughs> All right. Well, Joe, good to see you. How's Vegas treating you? It's good. It's actually uh, the WPPI show has lots of energy. Um, Eric and I were talking earlier on a conference call. Um, it's busy. Lots of folks. Good. Lots of booths and uh, some good, good work being shown and a lot of energy around around photography and, and learning. Well, that's oh, great man, to that's hear. good because, you know, yeah. uh, obviously, if trade shows are doing good, it's good for the whole industry. You know, yeah. true. And when, true. We, when we saw Photo Plus go away, you know, last year, it was kind of heartbreaking. But then. B and H swooped in and did their thing, which was great. And now hearing how how great WPPI is going, that's 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 good news. I love to hear that. I love trade shows. So <laughs> well, and Joe, weren't you talking about the uh, even the uh, vendors there? That there's a lot of the vendors are back, right? Yeah, a lot of vendors are on the floor. I would say, you know, I don't know for sure. There's ballpark probably. There's got to be there's got to be forty booths out there, maybe even a bit more. Um, and there's. Uh, Pro Photo has stepped up in a big way. They they've got um, all these shooting bays lined up, all with really you know great Pro Photo light shapers, etc. Uh, subjects are there for people to shoot, uh, so they're making a uh, their presence felt in a big way. And uh, the big the big guns are here too, you know, uh, Nikon, Canon, Sony, etc. B and H is here, Adorama is here, uh, you know, so. Yeah, I think um, I'm seeing really for the first time in, in a while, you know, pre-pandemic really, that um, there's these shows, at least a couple of them anyway. I was at PPA in Louisville, and now this one have a lot of energy. Oh, good. That's good. awesome. That's uh, great. You know, uh, Pro Photos making a lot of noise with what they're doing with, believe it or not, iPhone photography. So they've got an app that fires their strobes. Now, it doesn't fire every strobe, right? But they're uh, like B10s and uh, I think the A10 yep, yep. and all. And the A10 is like a 100 watt. It's not really a flash, but it's just like a strobe. It's like a, just yeah. a low powered strobe. But, you know, 100 watts is more than most, you know, Nikon yeah. or Canon flashes, right? They're about 80 watts. Is that right, Joe? I'm, I'm, I, you would know. <laughs> yeah, yeah. The, the... <laughs> Yeah, the A10, you could probably pull it in, you know, 75, um, you know, watts or so. The A2, which I call a little soda can light that they came out with, is uh, flat out rated at 100 That's uh, the one watts. I'm talking about, the A2. Yeah. That's the one. Super compact. I, Profoto's done some real genius stuff lately. The, the new soft boxes they are, have been bringing out now eliminate that that issue with you know you guys have been there right you're out on location and you're trying to put a four foot octa with wands 
into a speed ring yep. in the wind <laughs> on a beach, you know, mm-hmm. and, and it's like wrestling uh, a, a bear, you know. Um, so these new soft boxes are one click and you're on the light and you're done. And so that's pretty genius because um, that just saves so much uh, effort on location. Um, they're doing some great stuff. Yeah, on the A2, it's they have a magnetic mount now to where you just yep. take the soft box and it goes, click, <laughs> zoop. Like, yep. yep. Anyway, and the, oh, and B&H, can I, can I plug B&H here? They've got a deal right now on the A2. If you buy the A2, it comes with a, a free softbox. The softbox is 300 bucks, So you're getting the A2 and a mm-hmm. softbox. But I'm going to tell you something a friend of mine learned the hard way. If you go to their site and you buy the A2, and it says softbox free, but when you put it in your cart, it says $300. You have to put it in your cart, and then it 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 deducts the two ninety nine. So uh, it looks like you're like, wait, I thought it was free, but it says here it's two ninety nine. Just add it to your cart, oh, you and get it to, will get to the checkout. It. Because if you don't, you're going to get the light without the softbox. But it's a three hundred dollar softbox. Yeah, that's a good be- deal. Because and I, and Profoto makes the greatest stuff, but it Other is not tanks. known for being inexpensive. So if they're giving you a free softbox, you better jump on that bad boy. Run. But that's a pretty Take good it. deal. That's a pretty good deal. An A2, A2 and a $300 softbox. And yeah. uh, Russell Brown, who I, I don't know how much you know about Russell. Uh, you know, he works for Adobe, right? Yeah, I used to photograph him all the time. Oh, yeah, that's right. He's a, he's, he's a great character. Joe, yep. I'm telling you, he may be the best iPhone photographer in America today. I'm not making this up. Dude, I know. He, he does stuff that I can't believe is done with a oh, phone. phone yeah. And he just did a course for us on using the A2 with uh, triggering the whole thing with shooting with his phone, triggering it from his phone. What the hell has happened to this world, Joe? I don't know. I hope he's not mad at me because um, he asked to come to a workshop that we were doing in my hometown of Ridgefield that was um, – based on pro photo strobes basically we had a whole supply of pro photo strobes and uh we had you know mirrorless users dslr users and he asked us what do you think do you think this is an appropriate workshop and i and i said to him honestly i don't think so but my view has changed now uh, i think you know the iphone as as it relates to the pro photo system has become very viable He's doing some great work. There's no yeah. doubt about it. Oh, man. I mean, it's, it blows me away. Yeah, yeah. I, I'm, I was surprised. Like, he, he was kind of a sleeper. I mean, I always knew he was doing it. I knew he was shooting a lot and taking it very seriously. And he did a presentation for us where he showed what he's shooting. And, and Joe, I was my jaw was on the floor like, are you kidding me? I just I just didn't realize he's a, he's a sleeper. Well, he's just off doing his thing. And, and I, think, sudden, I think that maybe, yeah. you know, that's where you get to is like he he's doing that. But the reality is he's doing the stuff that Joe's the master at, too. You know, it's just Joe's using a big camera. But what it is, is at the end of the day, Russell and Joe and those guys understand that it's more about the stuff that goes into it than it is just the technology. The technology is there. It right. has to be there. It's the creativity. But, and I it's mean, they have a different level that you press the button. Well, and I think that, that makes a difference. And that's what I'm saying. I think there's a different level when you get to that point. But that's also where you. That's where you have to take your photography. Yeah, but when Joe goes to touch the shutter, angels sing. Oh, yes, I know, yes. <laughs> right, so yes. that's what's different. Yes. When Russell goes, it goes click. Yep. When Joe goes, you hear, oh, every time. That's his yes. shutter sound. Yes. Oh, yeah. yeah, that's that's what that's actually is the sound that used to emanate when you would walk into the editor-in-chief's office at the National Geographic. It, it signaled to you that you are now in the presence of the Lord and the person sitting across the desk from you controlled your air supply. And if you did poorly on the assignment, he could just wave his hand like Obi-Wan and your lungs would collapse inside of you and, and you would never return from location. Those are the worst. Wow. <laughs> yeah, no, it was, a, it was a lovely time shooting for the National Geographic. It's such a beneficent organization, always looking out for the well-being of the photographer. <laughs> anyway, no, I'm <laughs> certainly grateful to do that. Yes, yes, yes. <laughs> so um, next, they, they they gave me some good opportunities for sure. Yeah. yeah, you know, you remember Joe? I signed a deal with Geographic, right? I signed a deal. It was a it was a big deal. What was it? Twelve issues I got. Twelve issues for like fourteen bucks a year. It was great. 
Yeah. Yeah. I really yeah. I signed like the same they come deal, in the mail, actually. <laughs> <laughs> that was my that was my day rate. <laughs> <laughs> Well, Joe, you're, you're going to be you're going to be in Florida soon. Yes, courtesy of you guys and a and a wonderful partnership that we have. Um, the workshop that we're staging, I think, is going to be. Everybody says this, you know, but this is actually um, the real deal. It's it is different. It is um, just separated from the general run of workshops. I think uh, it's it's pretty intensive, and it's completely designed to bring your photography no matter what level you're at it brings you to the next level or two or three it's it's going to be intensive it's going to be hands-on every single day at in the evenings at breakfast there'll be critiques there'll be lectures there'll be location work the models will be next level the locations are going to not just be pretty you know there'll be a couple of pretty locations for sure but but most locations are going to be as they say challenging that's the, that's what yeah. <laughs> that's that's what they say that's a nice way of putting it <laughs> that this lo- this location is going to kick your butt and you have to figure it out wow but that's that's so crucial because that's what we deal with as photographers and i think when when you came with this idea it really was okay what if we did a workshop that was like real world like how did i how did i unlock these things that you're talking about where when i push the shutter button angels sing like how did i get there how and it get really angel- get i don't think you're gonna get angels eric well i think if you spend you spend enough time with joe mcnally and you'll it'll rub off on you to where you have more angels singing i All guess right. so look I, I could show you a couple of things where the angels were not singing. Oh, exactly. yeah. Show, yeah, show us. Yeah. Show us. What do you got? Well, I mean, a little bit of a gist of like kind of the kind of thing that, let's see, I guess I'll do this one. hope I don't screw this up. Um, I don't think I did. I think I'm okay. Uh, whoops. Nope. That's the wrong thing to show. That's my iTunes. I was watching Rush last night. Have you guys ever seen that movie? It's really a terrific oh, movie. Oh, no. I haven't seen that one. Wait, is it with um, Tucker? With Chris Hemsworth. Okay, no, that's not, I haven't seen yeah. it. Yeah. yeah. Do you see a grid of pictures now? No. Oh, yes, no, we do. Yes, yep, so we do. There it is. It's there, though. Okay, so here's like where the angels were not singing. Here's the kind of thing that we're going to tackle. I mean, not exclusively this, but isn't that a lovely photograph? Ooh, that is oh, nice. yeah. Isn't that amazing? It's beautiful. I mean, let's just stare at it for a moment while the emotions wash over us. Um, I was shooting for a client, and they brought me to this area the, of the um, factory, the plant. It, it, the factory made doors in a highly automated way, but they said this is the area where we do hand crafting, which meant that, like, over here, a guy was working at a table putting glass panes into doors. And they said, this, this is our handcrafted area, and they were very proud of it. Well, you look at this, right? It, this ain't Geppetto's workshop, you know? <laughs> Um, and so you have to turn this into something for the client to be pleased. And so what I did was that. Oh, and, let's go. And mm-hmm. that's just lens, light, color, staging, composition, all the tools you need to bring to bear f- when a client shows you a frankly impossible uh, kind of a location that it's up to you now to, for instance, turn this, you know, into this. Yes. Oh. Or that. Yes, those are you know, <laughs> totally different. Um, it's 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 up to you to speak. Like they show you this, <laughs> you know, and you turn it into this. Oh, you know. That, so that's that the like kind a- of problems <laughs> that we're going to tackle. Yes, yeah, so and that's know? the kind of stuff that I was talking about. Like Joe, just like when you get down to it, he can see that there's a picture in there, and it's developing that picture out right, of it. But that's usually that that's the hardest thing with being a photographer. It is not the gear. It's not the buttons. It's that stuff yeah, that is the most important. The gear, yeah, right? I mean, you know, if it's you have stuff. The money, you can yeah, buy the gear. exactly. Hey, so I, I want to challenge to everybody out there watching this. On uh, Monday, uh, I posted a video about Joe's upcoming workshop. It's it's on LightroomKillerTips.com. It's the first thing on the page. If you go to this just two days ago, go to Monday, go to LightroomKillerTips.com, and there's a video of Joe talking about this workshop. I, here's what my challenge to you is not to watch the video. It's to watch that video and not start making calls about how you're going to be there. It is the most compelling video. It is, it, it, you know, because he's telling you about the workshop, but just the, the way Joe explains it and the images that are wrapped around it, 
it, it literally makes you just want to grab your camera and run out and start shooting. It, mm -hmm. it is the most inspirational workshop promotional piece I've ever seen. It's like, you just got to see it. It really is. It's, it's, it's a marvel. Now, I want to take my hats off to our team and in particular Juan who, who worked with Joe and put this whole thing together. It, it's like a mini movie. It's phenomenal. So go to Lightroom Killer Tips. Dot com watch the video guys i'm telling you it is the most compelling thing i we watched it eric and i watched it together and it our the jaws first time. were on yeah. the floor it was like the the oxygen was sucked out of the room at the end of that we're like <laughs> well, well tribute to tribute to you guys and your team and yes to juan juan is like a maestro behind that video camera yeah, he is yep and the jib yeah, uh, Hey, you know, Stuart has a great comment here. Stuart said, uh, and this is what I was truly really trying to say there is Joe doesn't show how you uh, show you how to shoot. He teaches you how to see. And that is a big difference. Like that's why Joe and Jay and there's certain other people that like they they get you to see photography. And that's what I think a lot of people miss. They 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 ah, I can I can teach you how to push a button. But to get you to see photographically, that's what this whole thing's about. Yeah, you, you got to watch this video. I guess it's on on the same. It's also on uh, on the the. Uh, and what, what's the web page where they go? Uh, just uh, kelby one dot com forward slash workshops. There you go, kelby one dot com forward slash workshop. All right, Joe. One more thing before you go here. Uh, who all's out there? Uh, who who have you seen out at the show? Just you know, people walking well, around, yeah. photographers. There's a lot of really good shooters out here for sure. Um, obviously, I'm affiliated with Nikon. I, I lectured at their booth. Nikon's got a great array of people here. I was on on stage yesterday with Cliff Mountner um, and also uh, Sharon Carfiera, Carfiori. I always mispronounce that. Sharon and and Cliff. We, we were all talking about storytelling. Hats off to both of them. I mean, and Cliff shoots amazing wedding pictures, but both of us. Who have been in the business a long time were stunned by Sharon's work. Absolutely stunned. The uh, the wedding video she does has so much power and emotion and professionalism. So much work. Um, it's it's crazy. The amount of good photography that's getting done out there right now. I was going past booths and looking at stuff, and I was like, wow. Uh, you know, it makes you want to have the early part of your career back. You know, because. I've been through some of my archive, you know, <laughs> with the pandemic and all, and, and one, one, you know, there are several emotions that beset me, one of which was, what was I thinking? <laughs> um, another one was, I'm lucky I ever worked again after this job, you know, so it makes you want some of that time back because the technology combining with the technique that um, photographers are bringing to the party nowadays, it's, it's pretty cool. Now, you got to realize, Joe, when you look through an image and you think, what was I thinking? Guys like me and yeah, Kuna, the rest of us are like, going, I'm entering this awesome. in a competition. <laughs> this, I'm, sending, I'm sending this to the world photo uh, competition. Yeah. So it's, you look at things through, let's just say, a different set of eyes. <laughs> yeah, what are you going to do? You your know, it's, your it's, bar is very high. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm just thankful that I'm still at it, you know. Um, and, in fact, I leave on Wednesday for Romania and I've got a whole series of corporate commercial jobs and fingers crossed um, the production company over there has put me forward as potentially um, directing a television commercial. Oh, oh awesome. would that be cool? Yeah, yeah we'll see what cool. happens. Joe, you I'm, I'm, go, go ahead. ahead. Uh, I was just going to say you should show them that that video of your workshop. To, you'll seal that deal. <laughs> <laughs> But um, yeah, and I'm shooting stills on a movie set um, and doing the electronic press kit for this uh, kind of, you know, m you know, it's probably going to be a wonderful movie, kind of not a big blockbuster thing. It's pretty emotional uh, set of circumstances and uh, the talent is excellent. So I'm just I'm looking forward to it. Wow. Um, be gone for two weeks. You're living a different life than we are, Joe. Let me tell you, Joe. Yeah, you're but living I'll tell your you best what. life. Joe. I'll tell you what, like you. I'm sure Joe will say it. Like you. that two weeks is gonna be it's hard work. It's hard work when you're doing that set stuff and you're doing that location stuff. It is. Well, Joe, thank yeah. you so much for taking the time out of the show. I know you're busy and we really do appreciate you taking the time and we look forward to seeing you here. Uh and uh 
where, and there's how many spots are left for, for only just, two? There's only, only two, two spots, spots left. For goodness sake, go get one of those two shots. It's kelbyone.com slash workshop workshops. It's plural. Either one will work. Or either one will work, I guess. But yeah. uh, go there and grab one of those last spots. I'm telling you, it's going to be a life-changing week. Uh, you'll be exhausted when it's done, but uh, you'll never see things uh, the same way after that. I mean, yep. there's very few things where you can go spend six days and it changes everything. And this is going to be one of those workshops. So we're really looking forward to having you down here, Joe. It's going to be yeah. amazing. And uh, oh, and what's cool about it, when you go to this workshop, uh, you're going to get a uh, behind the scenes film of the entire workshop. So yeah. you get the whole And thing. that's usually something that is lost in those mediums. You know, that's one thing, right. again, out of the evolution of the world over the last few years, it's become kind of like a, we've noticed that there is a necessity to capture not only the classes, but the live events. Yeah, so. and so it's, it's, you'll have access to it. That's pretty amazing. Joe, have a great time out there. And, Will do. And say hi to anybody that we would say hi to. And if it's somebody we don't like, just kind of, Say, by the way, Scott and Eric hate you. Just keep walking. I'll just keep walking. Yeah. 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 So a guy came up to me yesterday and said, are you Scott Kelby? No joke. He Seriously? Goes, like, yeah. And then he said, oh, no, you, you look a lot like Scott Kelby. He goes, and then he said, I guess it's a compliment. He said, you're both very funny. <laughs> I would have rather he said you're both very handsome. I would have, <laughs> yeah. Right? You both look yeah. a lot like George Clooney. I think I would have yeah. taken that one. Yeah. Scott, you and uh, me, I funny. think for us, that ship has sailed. Uh, <laughs> you know? Don't say that, Joe. There's always hope. <laughs> Joe, there's hope. always surgery. <laughs> there's always massive, hope, hope and intensive <laughs> surgery. Hope and Botox. Yep. Yeah. That's why we do this, Joe, to earn enough money to have massive surgical procedures. Uh, right. Yep. Keep up. I was know, thinking of having the injections. a small Eric Kuna head attached to the side of my face that would talk to me during the day. <laughs> oh, All right. right. <laughs> that would not be good. It's, All right. This is Joe. going to a bad place. Yes, Joe, it is. Don't, don't do we anything take a break. that would get you arrested or <laughs> force you to mortgage your house. Uh, All right. Have fun out there, and we'll yep. talk to you again soon. Take care, buddy. Thank you, guys. All right. See you. All right. Two spots left. Holy cow. That that's just amazing. So well, it's, and it's great to hear that WPPI. Like it's great to hear about the shows. Oh it's yeah, I love hearing about the shows. Hey, we're that. gonna take a short break. When we come back, we have Dan Harlacker here from On One. They got a brand new version of No Noise AI, one of our favorite apps. Ooh, and, and I got. Are gonna see, I've seen some of it. We're getting the first look it's, at it. Ooh, I haven't seen it yet. I'm gonna be I'm telling it you. the first time with you guys. So I got a, I got a story about it. Stick around. We'll be right yeah. back. Hi, I'm Dave Clayton. I'd love you to join me here at Kelby One for my brand new class. And in this class, we are gonna cover so much. I'm gonna be showing you type tips. We're gonna be making brushes out of type. We're gonna be putting type round shapes. I'm gonna be showing you vintage effects. We're gonna be looking at different ways to take your images, select the subjects and put type in front behind, make movie posters. There's so much in this class that I know you're gonna absolutely love. So I'd love you to join me, watch my class, learn a whole bunch of tips about type and learn to love type as much as I do. And you can catch it here exclusively on kelbyone.com.
This segment of The Grid is brought to you by Canon. Hey, we're back. We got some shout outs real quick here. Some folks joining yeah, us from so we got all a, over. Who's we here? We got uh, Bill M saying, hey, from Sacramento. Uh, uh, so glad to join the show. Off today. Glad you could join. And then uh, Ray saying hi from Windy, South Dakota. Paul B saying hi from Destin, Florida. Rolf saying hi from uh, Germany. Uh, Mike saying hi from Albany. Cami saying hi from a sloggy Rock Hill, South Carolina. Uh, Daryl saying hi from Fisher, Texas. And then we've got uh, Thomas S saying hi from Germany. Uh, George saying hi from Stanford. And then Lisa saying hi from Fort Lauderdale. We got tons of tons of shout outs here. Uh, everybody, well, it's, oh, it's, it's still moving. Still moving here. Oh, hey, Lori saying hi from Rome, Georgia. Marianne saying hi, uh, or saying help, happy Kelby Wednesday. You guys are so fun. Uh, well, <laughs> I'm glad, I'm glad that somebody's taking us that way. Uh, and then Bruce is saying hi uh, from uh, Bird Watchers Digest. So there we go. And then Anders saying hi from all the way from Sweden. And then we got a shout out there. We got a comment uh, down there at the bottom. Well, you scroll it, down it, there. It went away. Scroll down. It went away. There you all go. All right, Todd. Todd was saying uh, about your uh, photographer's fast track. He said, I just finished my five-day crash course on the photographer's track, fast track in Kelby 1. Loving it so far. Uh, now working on concert photography courses. Nice. So awesome. All right. Did we do giveaways yet? No, we have not done the All right, giveaways. What are we giving away so, today? giving away today, we've got the How Do I Do That in Photoshop book. This is available over on Amazon, but somebody's going to win it today on the show. Then, another book we're going to be giving away is the Adobe Photoshop book for digital photographers. What? Again, available on Amazon.com. And Platypod's giving away a gooseneck. These are great for attaching to your Platypod and then right there, putting a light on it or whatever you want to attach to it. Uh, then we're going to give away a copy of On One No Noise uh, right now 2023, but obviously you're going to see the upgraded version today. And then uh, we're giving away a V-flat from V-flat World. Um, this is for U.S. shipping only, so you just got to make sure that you have a U.S. shipping address. Um, but everybody can win there just using that code KELBY10 at checkout to send save 10% off. That's KLBY10 um, at checkout. And then Retouch for Me is giving away their skin tone app. Um, and everybody can uh, get a discount on that as well using the code KELBY120. Um, so that's K E L B Y O N E 20. Uh, and then, because we love to give away more prizes than everybody else, Gosh, we uh, we've got a new sponsor, uh, been a sponsor before, but Slick Pick. A uh, great place to host your photography portfolio. It's really it's designed for photographers. In fact, your portfolio yeah. is on Slick Pick. Did you, yeah. they just showed an ad uh, on the break? And, yeah, yeah. Uh, it was showing it's me and it's Lindy Adler and Serge and just a whole bunch yep. of people. Everybody's hosting over there. Yeah, and it's really it's it's designed for photographers. Like so, if you're looking for a photography, um, you know, place to hold your uh, portfolio. There you go. So they're giving away a one year classic gallery plan uh this is for new customers only so if you're already a customer don't enter this one uh <laughs> but uh it's over uh you can go check them out over at uh slickpick.com forward slash uh kelby one all there right go. there you go okay folks all right we have standing by all the way from somewhere in oregon dan harlacker's here from on one we know a lot of you guys have on one stuff but uh, their new effects stuff is that's a product, right? On one stuff. On one stuff. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So yeah. perfect stuff. Yeah. <laughs> it's, uh, How you guys doing? Thanks for having me. Uh, good, Dan. Yeah. Dan, is there a new product coming out called called On One Stuff AI? Ooh, stuff AI. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Why not? So, everything else is AI. So. Yeah. Right. Yeah. So so you guys, you know, uh, I I've been a a huge fan, and I use it more than I've ever thought that I would. I, mm -hmm. I've always been an anti-noise reduction guy, Dan. I've always been because, mm -hmm. and I always told people, you know what noise reduction does? I know why. You spend all this money on a body and all this money on a lens. And all it does is blur it. That's it. That's what when, it was. But this AI stuff that you guys are doing is ridiculous. Eric and I did a workshop yeah. in New York City. I'm having to shoot at 20,000 ISO or some ridiculous yeah, amount no at problem. night. What that thing did and retain the detail and I and that was the old version. I haven't I haven't even seen the new one 
So are you going to show us the new one? Yes, please. Yeah. yeah. Let's, Let's see. Show you Let's some, go. Uh, show what the new one can do. So uh, first off, two disclaimers. Uh, first, this is a pre-release version that we're looking at today. It's not available quite yet, probably a couple weeks away. We're just kind of wrapping up some bugs and doing some performance optimization. And the other thing I'd like to do is I'd like to thank our, uh, our users, our beta testers, and some of our other users who have supplied some of these photos today. These are not my photos. They're not stock photos. Uh, these actually come from actual photo raw users who we have a contest basically send us your noisiest ugliest photo and we'll see what we can do with it so awesome. that's where these photos came from so let's start off uh we'll do a bird second because we always look at birds so let's look at a landscape first so i'm just going to pick a photo this is a nef let's send it off to no noise so this is going to take that original nef it's going to send it over to us and I think this, the stuff you just went through is something that people miss sometimes is that going to that plugin extras rather than just right clicking on it. But yes. Yeah. That is that's how you're getting that. That's, that that's you how you're getting that NEF over types. there. Yeah. 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 You get the file type. And I actually have, there's a little intermediate dialogue that comes up to let you pick all your file format settings. I just have it set to do the same thing every time. I just want to DNG every yep. time. So. Yep. Me too. Uh, here we are. This is 100%. I'm going to zoom in one more time because it's kind of hard to see through the screen share. And let's take a look at a before. Yeah, so exactly. that's the original photo, <laughs> no noise reduction right there. Can what you guys see the, the noise, I assume? A yes, little bit. I, not, I could not, totally not, see it. It's yeah. all over the place. Yeah, I can see okay. it on the mountain stuff and the trees. Yeah, yeah and even, even in that sky, that sky is, is pretty, pretty oh, chunky. Yeah. This is what, uh, Nikon Z6? Oh, uh, yeah, fairly the high, high water, stuff. too, is just full of it. Yeah, so let me turn it on here. Zip. There we go. Oh, like, <laughs> yes, that's what I want. That's the picture yeah. I saw. There we go. Let me actually going to make a little little adjustment here just for my own personal taste here. Let's make a slight adjustment to it. So the big thing you're going to notice is if you look at these little spots where these little trees are at, you know, if you look at the before, how would you ever know that there were little trees on the side of that mountain? It's just golf ball sized noise. But because it has seen so many photos like it, it knows that, look, there's supposed to be little little trees and little, little uh, ravines and things like that. So it removes that noise. The sky is clean. There's no halos. All the individual branches mm -hmm. on the trees are there and crisp. Oops, I have to grab the right thing. There we go. So you kind of see before and after. Yeah. Wow. I mean, that's yeah. that's All what right. it. It's just crazy what it does. Yeah. Let me show you a couple others because there's every photo is a little different. Well, and different. to. Uh, and matters, and Dan, like, what was the what was the noise or what was the ISO on that? Just to I start think out. is uh, sixteen thousand. So that exactly. was a pretty high Exactly. So that's yeah. where I'm saying you're already you you start at sixteen thousand. Imagine most of my shooting might be at sixty four hundred <laughs> or thirty two hundred. Like wow. Yeah. All right. Let's take a look at a bird because everybody like cares about birds when it comes to noise reduction. So mm -hmm. let's take a look at this one. <laughs> This is a Sony file. And it is 12,800. Okay. Woo. Let's zoom in here a little bit more. Oh, yeah. Right, so that's yeah. the... Oops. Hey, come back here. Helps to not hit the button twice. Now I've angered the machine just a second here. Oh, yes, you've angered the beta gods. Yeah, there we go. All right, so there's before. Right, make sure it buffers so you guys can all see that big noise. Mm -hmm. And after. Oh, yeah, gone. Direction. Yeah. Yeah, so look at the detail big, it brings out, too. Difference. I mean, that's, and yeah. what Scott said, that that's the key with noise reduction up until. A few years ago, a lot of noise reduction was just really blurring or softening your image. It really wasn't removing the noise. Where this is wiping out the noise. It's all that's the way I like. It. It's like you shot that you shot that shot at twelve thousand eight hundred, and it's like you wiped it down to like eight hundred ISO or four hundred ISO. It's like you just wiped out the noise. Yep, and you have all the control over how much you really want to remove. I'm kind of in the same campus scott i don't like it to be completely sterile you want it to have some tooth to it you want to make yeah. it look like a photo not a video so you can dial in the amount of both luminance and color noise reduction you know i'll use i leave the color all the way up whoever wants color noise but i might bring the luminance down to like 80 so you get a little bit of that tooth 
mm-hmm. left over and you can control how much additional sharpening gets applied to things as well. And you can even do that on multiple layers and use masks to combine them. You still end up with a DNG at the end of the day, but you can actually have selective sharpening and selective noise reduction with this as well. Wow. Yeah. That's crazy stuff. Yeah. Well, Let me show you one more because we didn't talk about de-blurring. So there's actually two products in one. It does noise reduction, but it also does de-blurring. And de-blurring is not the same, same thing as sharpening. When we think of sharpening, that's kind of a, you know, adding an additional sharpness that wasn't there. De-blurring actually is reversing the, the blur of the lens of the blur of the subject. So let me show you kind of what that can do, too. And you can even combine those two together in here. Uh, let's see. Where's a photo with some blur? Where'd that little owl go? Here we go. Here's a good example. So this is actually a JPEG in this case, but this works on raw photos as well. This happens to all of us, especially with people, things that are moving. You know, you get a shot where the composition is great, but there's, gosh darn it, just a tiny little bit of blur. That's like, you know, most of mm-hmm. us would end up having to throw that shot away. It's not going to work. But watch, I'm just going to switch over to Tack Sharp, and this will actually reduce that blur. There wow. You go. Yeah, yeah tax so sharp. From tax sharp out of focus. I, I don't know why it's not a separate application. I mean, it's great that you include it <laughs> in that one, but it's. I mean, it just as a standalone sharpening thing, it does an amazing job. Yeah. Well, yeah, well, and I, I, go, I get what you're saying. Like the yin and yeah. yang, you know, you get that noise reduction and deep blurring. They kind of need to go together. You kind of have to adjust them both at the same time. So that's why we put them together. Um, yeah. Yeah, and the other thing I love is that you can actually. Uh, run both with this where you can actually mm-hmm. take out the noise and then do that sharpening as well. Yep, yep definitely. Yeah, I'm just using this both option over here. Mm-hmm. This photo doesn't actually have any have a lot of noise, so it doesn't really need to use the, the both option, but that'll actually help you wipe it away. But that's one of those ones that's really useful to be able to combine the two and do them on different layers so that mm-hmm. you can affect them differently. I'll do that a lot where I'll add extra noise reduction to the background so I get a really really smooth background yeah, that's less have, on my subject so it's a little sharper. So. Yeah, because that's a good point, Dan. You haven't even gotten into the fact that you can adjust this through masks to mm-hmm. do sharpening on certain areas, do noise reduction on certain areas, change the settings. I mean, that's what I, that's what other applications I see just don't have. They don't have that ability to really go in. Because I find a lot of my noise resides in certain parts of my image. Right. So I'll attack that part of the image rather than just trying to attack all the noise. Yeah, exactly. You know, a lot of times it's those dark areas or, yep. or uh, you know, those more continuous tone areas that'll get you. Let me show you one more, just because I know that uh, a lot of folks are uh, interested in Astro. And noise reduction in Astro is a bit tricky because it's really hard to know what's a star versus mm-hmm. what's noise. So that, you know, you can either end up erasing more than you want or you end up uh, creating stars that weren't there or you end up fuzzing. I mean, I've seen a lot where the, all the trails look like they're kind of going in different directions, which is weird. So let's zoom in here a little bit. I'm actually going to go to about 300 on this one. And let's take a look at a before and after on this one. This is what? This is a Sony at 3200 ISO. So that's the before. Mm-hmm. With a second, so you guys can see it. Yep. And then after the noise reduction. Yeah, and so that's it what it is. Stars. It's it yeah, those it's, tiny little guys. Yeah, it's wiping yeah. out all the noise, but then it's keeping. But not only is it keeping the stars, uh, it retains the sharpness because that's a that's a hard thing too. Is sometimes with noise reduction, it'll eat into your stars to where to dull them or not have them mm-hmm. sharp. And that's what, um, you know, the story here, I guess, would be, you know, I know, Dan, uh, you a, f- a while back, you had sent me an email asking, you know, about, you know, no noise, because we, we use it a lot. And, you know, asking about like, okay, well, what's, what's the, what's your main concern with noise reduction? Uh, you know, and I was talking about, well, really, you want to remove that noise, but you still want to retain that sharpness in the stars, retain, retain that sharpness in the landscape. And that's one of the things that I think, on one no noise 2023 did very well but you also sent me a file that was a bunch of different comparisons of noise reduction that you would run on a on a astro images and you would ask me well what you what do you think worked the best and and it was funny because i was going through all the options and i kind of went well that one kind of looks like it's lightroom's noise reduction or that one kind of looks like it was um you know, Topaz's noise reduction. And then I got to this one and I was like, I don't, 
I don't know. And I, I think I responded to you and I said, I don't know which one this one is, but it's the one I want because I hadn't <laughs> seen anything really retain that much sharpness in the stars uh, and not soften the image. And you responded back and said, well, good, because that's the one we're developing. So that, that's why I'm excited about this product, because since then I've been like, well, that's exactly what I want. If, if you could take the I, and I think that shot was shot at like twelve thousand eight hundred or, or maybe sixty sixty four hundred it was one of those. But having that level of noise and still retaining that detail in the stars and then actually making it look better, I was like, well, that's what I want. So. Yeah, no, that's great. That's exactly uh, exactly what the goal is, and uh, yeah. yeah, I think we've done uh, a really good job on. Uh, and there's actually multiple models that sit behind this, but there's one for raw denoising, one for uh, Fuji denoising because their sensors are different. One for uh, a photo that's already been debared or demosaic, kind of new JPEGs, TIFFs, mm -hmm. and then separate ones for deblurring. And we basically built all new ones of those, and then tune the way they interact together. And then also have, when they're used in batch processing, we've also made the batch processing significantly faster. Depending on your hardware, it could be up to twice as fast doing batch exporting as well. So, yeah, we're pretty proud of it. We think folks are really going to dig it. And, uh, you know, I spend all day looking through the results and comparing it to the competitors. And I've got to say that, you know, the majority of the time we beat everybody else out there. So we can't wait to get it in people's hands here pretty soon. Yeah. Hey, Dan, uh, Thomas is asking, uh, is, the no, is the no noise cloud-based? I think, no, this is all done locally on your right. machine. Yeah, you don't have to be connected yeah. to the internet or any of that stuff. All right, cool. Yeah, yeah. which is another nice all right. part. Uh, all right, somebody had a suggestion. They want to know, on a future show, could you come and uh, on when we do the how would I edit your photo segment? So we do a segment, sure. well, once a month or so where we go and you would be a guest fixer. <laughs> there so, you go. How would Dan fix your photo? Yeah. Yeah, let's do it. I like, I like that. Do all right, all right, great. Thank you. That's a great suggestion, Natalie. Mm -hmm. All right, Dan, well, thank you very much for giving us a sneak peek of that. You guys are doing some amazing stuff, so congratulations. Please high-five your team for us. They're doing some cool stuff, <laughs> Yeah, some it is. Cool it's stuff, cool man. stuff. Yeah, I'm telling you, you save us a bunch of time because we used to have to do so many. Like, to get that results from an astro photo, you have to spend, like, a half an hour to get one shot that looks like that because you'd have to – stack and you'd have to do all this stuff and then combine it in the computer and now it's like one hey, button hey eric yeah i i wouldn't know oh i know you wouldn't know <laughs> but i'm telling you i know all right and it well, saves again, a bunch dan. of time we appreciate it you take care and nice uh, everybody uh, thank you dan everybody else stick around we got some news coming up we got all kinds of stuff coming up right after this break bunch of stuff uh surprising some surprising stuff so surprising. that's coming up right after this break don't go away for surprising news, whatever that means. This segment of The Grid is brought to you by Platypod, the world's most compact tripod base. 
All right, hey, we're, we're back. back. Yeah. Uh, Eric is going to stall for a second and tell you about something very cool. I've got some news, but yes. go ahead. Yes, yeah, so very cool. Uh, you know, we just did we we just had our uh, uh, iPhone conference, but right after that, we announced our next conference, which we're going to be having, which is the Lightroom conference. So that is coming up next month. So you can check that over out at uh, KelbyOneLive.com. Uh, and right over there, you'd have a list of all the um, great stuff that you can see at the Lightroom conference. So check that out. Um, that is launching today. So over there at um, kelby1live.com. And there you can see it right there, the Lightroom conference coming April 16th to 17th. And a uh, uh, great list of instructors. If you scroll down, you can see all the instructors that you had. Uh, yep, so you've got a great list of instructors. We're going to teach you all about how to master Lightroom, Lightroom Mobile, like all the good stuff in that Lightroom ecosphere. Uh, so we've got that. And then uh, we also have to give away our contest prizes, which we could do right now. You uh, could do if that. We, if we had them. We still have lots, lots to go here. Yes. So I don't know if we have them yet, but if we did have the contest prizes, we'd give them away. Or uh, what else can we talk about? Uh, what else do we? I got stuff. I'm just trying. I'm I'm prepping. Yeah, a he's file prepping here. Hold he, on. He had he had something that we needed to do beforehand, and and now I got the prizes here. So we're giving away uh, this on the. So let's see. Um, prizes wise, we've got the Photoshop for digital photographers book today is going to Marcy B, and then uh, thirty two hundred buddy uh, is going to how do I do that or is getting the how do I do that in Photoshop book. And then Irene uh, Garneau is on uh, winning the f goosenecks from Platypod. So we've got then Bernie Bowman Sangren is winning the Retouch for Me skin tone app. Then Ken Walker is winning the Slick Pick prize. And then the V flat is going to SC Blue. And then Bonnie M is winning the On One No Noise 2023. All you got to do to claim that prize is email us over at uh, gridprize at kelby1.com and just do that by this Friday so we can verify your information and send you out your prize. All right. All right. I, I so have I something think for you. He might have something else now. I do. You know what I have? I was looking for the photo because I wanted to be able to show you this uh -huh. example. I've got a Lightroom tip. A Lightroom tip. A Lightroom tip. Lightroom tip, yeah. Lightroom tip, yeah. All right. I've got a Lightroom tip for sharpening. So this is a sharpening tip for Lightroom users. You can also use this in camera raw if that is the case, if you're using it. So sharpening is done in the detail panel. Now, right here, you might wonder, well, why don't, well, that's unfortunate there, her nostril. Just move that out of the way. Whoa, that's <laughs> well, you got to the other one. That's, yeah, bad. All right. So, um, you might wonder, why isn't it just called the sharpening panel? Because then you'd know what it does. All right. Because well, they had so, to throw noise reduction in there. Right. So here's what we're going to do, folks. All right. What we're going to do is this. So when we are sharpening, basically women and children primarily, uh, is when we worry about doing sharpening better because nobody cares about men. If it's a picture of a guy, we just sharpen the crap out of it. Their skin looks all rugged. It looks cool. And you move on. But with women, we don't want to accentuate, or with children, you don't want, you don't want to see some That's little wait, kid with uh, all this imperfections, pores and yeah. weird stuff, you know, right? So what happens is when you apply uh, sharpening to women's skin, you start to, it starts to look gritty and stuff. So what we've done for many, many years in Photoshop was we would go to Photoshop. See, we're going to do this in Lightroom, but we used to have, used to have to go to Photoshop, yep. duplicate the layer apply a ton of sharpening and then take the paintbrush and mask out all the skin. So all that was left was the hair, the eyebrows, the eyes, the nostrils, the lips, you know, and the, and the sides, the edges of the face. It took for flipping ever, but we had to do it. Believe it or not, Lightroom has a feature that will do all of that for you automatically on a slider and it's brilliant. So here's how it works. So go to the detail panel and I'm going to crank the sharpening way up. So let's, let's zoom in and I'm just going to crank the sharpening way up just so you can see. Let's just crank it up so you can see. Look, yeah, her skin's getting, getting really, look at that. Yeah. 
Just right. Everything's you don't out. want that right now. This no. is I've way exaggerated the uh, sharpening. You would never put this much sharpening, not even probably on a guy. It's really bad. All right. But it's this slider right here that I want to bring your attention to called masking. So here's how you use the masking filter. You hold the option key if you're on Mac or the alt key if you're on Windows, right? You hold that key down and when you click on the masking tool, watch what happens. Or excuse me, on the masking slider, watch what happens. The entire screen turns white. So let me back off so you can see this a little better. The entire screen turns white. Let me. What that's telling you is, is that sharpening is being applied everywhere to the entire photo. As you drag to the right, parts of the image start to turn black. Anything that turns black is no longer having any sharpening applied to it whatsoever. So when you drag it way over like this, none of the skin, not on her hands, not on her face, not on her ears, none of it's being sharpened. The only areas that are being sharpened are the detail areas, like mm -hmm. her hair, her eyebrows, her eyes. This took, took us yeah. 20 minutes of photo in in Photoshop, and now it's just drag a slider in Lightroom. And I'm going to zoom way in. I left that amount of sharpening. Look, her skin's perfect. It's soft and fantastic because of that slider. Otherwise, you would have that. But this way, the, the, the eye stays sharp and the eyelashes are deadly sharp and all that, but you don't have any of that bad stuff that comes right. with. And that, folks, is yeah. our Lightroom And then you, you'd, uh, final stage, you'd probably take your radius down because I think you blew oh, it yeah, up. Oh, yeah, no, no. You, I, you blew it up just I, so we could I, see I it. I do that just so you could see it. Yeah, so just we could so, see it. you know, be very, very obvious because yep. a lot of you are watching on a small screen. So yep. that, that's why that I did it. Now, yeah. I have other news. You ready for this? This is big. Big news. I've been asked to be a guest instructor at a workshop that you can go to. It's open to everybody. Ready? All right. It's Antarctica. I am going to be one of the series where it says your wow. pros. They're going to add me to that list tomorrow. So we're going to Antarctica for 10 days, February 6th through 17th, 2025. So a year from now, you got plenty of time to plan and you got all these incredible photographers and they've, 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 they've rented the whole boat. And wow. I've talked to them about this. They said, look, we've been doing this for years. We go down on boats that are kind of like, you know, expedition boats. And we've gone down on other boats. The, this, the boat that they're going is the best boat they've ever been on. The boat is beautiful. The food is fantastic. The crew is amazing. And you're going to see just wildlife and things that you all can only see. That's awesome. Icebergs and crazy stuff. It's just going to be amazing. And I'll be right there with you. And I'm going to be teaching some post-processing and working on critiques and all. So it's that's Very exciting. Awesome. I've always wanted to go. I yeah, know that's always been on the top of our bucket list when we talk about it. And you know, it was weird. I never had an interest in going really to Antarctica until I saw Winston Hendrickson's shots from his trip. He went down there oh, yeah, and he said, that. let me, and he shared like a, you know, an Adobe Spark page of him. And from that day forward, I'm like, I have got to go there. That is a bucket list thing. I know for a lot of people. So it's much worse uh, workshops. So it's M-U-E-N-C-H, workshops.com, and uh, you can go. You can be on the ship with me and all those pros and, uh, and, and go have a, just a wonderful time. So that is coming up next February, so 11 Exciting. months, really 11 months from now. And can you just imagine how crazy that's going to be? Antarctica, out there on a the Zodiac, seeing penguins, eating penguins. No, we're not going to eat the penguins. <laughs> They say the not. food's really good, but it's not penguin. Yeah, you're not sure what it is. No, but I, but I just got, can you, I mean, look at that. You're right there. This is just, it's going to be an unbelievable, unforgettable experience. I wonder how much seafood you'll be eating. I, I'm not going to be eating a lot of seafood, Eric. Uh, you know that. I know that. I'm not a seafood guy. Yeah. The only seafood I eat is uh, sushi. Well, yeah. You, well, and I only we, can eat one We definitely sushi. see food and eat it. Yeah. yeah. Definitely. All right, that's number one. So that's pretty exciting. I'm very, very excited about that. That's just like brand new news, right? That just, I yeah, just is all that's awesome. coming together right now, but I'm, I'm, I'm in. So I hope that you'll be there with me. I, I hope that I'm not shooting some Zodiac and I look and you're like, hey, yeah, what's up? There. we're right there together. All right, here's another one. Uh, this guy, me and him are doing a workshop and there are only two spots left to go this May. So not that far along, just May. 
to the beautiful island of Santorini, Greece. It is an absolute, it's one of the most beautiful places I've ever been. It's just incredible. You've seen pictures of it your whole life. It's coming up this May. And, he, and here's what I want to tell you about this. Here's what's going to happen. There's, it can go two ways. You're just sitting at home this May, or you're with us, 12 of us. It's only 12 of us. It's me, Eric, and 12 photographers. And we've got an amazing hotel we're staying in. The Santorini Palace is absolutely oh, yeah. a gorgeous hotel. The food in Santorini is incredible. It's absolutely fantastic. There's two spots left, and one of those should be yours. I mean, why not? Come and do that. It's not like you're going to go and go, I really regret going. You know what you're going to regret? Not going. You're going to regret not going. And it's, it's, uh, it's going to be an incredible experience. It's going to be so much fun. Only two spots left. And we would only had we would have had just one left, but we yeah, had a cancellation. So Somebody's cancel. got a family thing and they can't do it. But uh, anyway, there's just two spots left. Come and join us. Because if not, it's going to be a day in May, and somebody will be subbing for me and Eric yeah. here on the grid. And they go, oh, let's get a live feed from Santorini, and you would be there with us. And I'm telling you, you're going to come back with pictures that are just Santorini photographically. It's almost like they got together and said, look. We know a lot of photographers are going to come here. Let's mm -hmm. put cool stuff to shoot all over. Interesting thing about Santorini too, Eric. You know, you haven't been there. You haven't mm -hmm. been to Santorini before, mm -hmm. right? No, and that's why you were like uh, talking it up so much. We had to do it. Yep. So it's it's an island in the Aegean Sea, right? And then it goes up, and it's it's all at the top of the island. The views from up there are just insane. It's uh, yep. it's one of the coolest places I've ever been, and I want you to share it with us. So, yeah, we're so check learn. it out. That's uh, Scott Kelby Workshops. Scott Kelby Workshops dot com. com. That's exactly where it's at, and uh, you're gonna have an amazing experience. So, Scott Kelby Workshops dot com, and uh, and there you go. And then uh, next month, I'm off to Budapest, Hungary. That workshop's already sold out, and then we're gonna be having tickets available soon for the Lofoten Islands in Norway with myself and Dave Williams. And mm, we're that add, should be a cool one. adding another workshop in June with Mimo Madani. We're going to be going to, well, starting in Venice and heading up to the Dolomites, the uh, kind of the Italian you know, Alps. You're going to be in Norway and it'll be some good uh, Aurora in oh, September. Aurora. Oh, yeah. Dave's a master. Yeah. He's done so, books on it. So It's going to be that, too. Uh, hopefully, we'll come yeah. home with pictures. And I'm taking a cruise for my 35th wedding anniversary all around the UK. And then we land in Norway. And my wife flies home. And then I go on to my workshop. But get this. My son's going to fly over to, to meet me. Oh, cool. Yeah, it's cool. I'm very excited. Yeah. All right. One more thing. Next week, we are one week away from the photography show in the UK, which is the big photo show over there. I'm going over to shoot but not before I get to shoot a rugby match day with my friend Claire. The day before, I land on Friday, and that night I'm shooting a real pro rugby match, which I cannot tell you how excited I am for that. And and she's got full access to everything, so we're going to be shooting all over the place. Then I'm the sure next that, day, I'm sure that's a fun sport. To I got a photograph. ton of stuff I'm teaching, a ton of stuff at the photography show. It is one of the best shows I've ever been to. It is phenomenal. I spoke there maybe five years ago and I've been dying to get back. I'm so excited. And they put me to work. Man, I'm on panels. I'm talking about AI. I'm talking about the future of photography. I'm doing sessions on AI. I'm doing sessions on Photoshop's AI. And mm -hmm. I'm showing you how we can use it and still sleep at night. I'm not, I'm not gonna do the crazy stuff. You're, yeah, you're using it the way we use it, yeah. I, yeah. I, I'm telling you. It's the AI stuff that's is the, fantastic there's, there's, if you use it the right way. Exactly. And it's cheating if you use it the wrong way. I'm not showing you the cheating stuff. I'm going to show you how you're going to see this if you come to my well, session. It's maybe cheating like, if you're going to call it photography. At that point, you can't call it photography if no. you're using it that cheating yeah, way. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. If cheating. you're just like creating a blank template and then yeah, telling the computer say, what to do yeah, and say, look at my that. photograph. No, I'm, I'm going to be, I'm very excited. There's a lot of great teachers there and stuff and a lot of great people, including some Kelby One instructors are there as well. So there you go. Awesome. All right. What else? We think I, this is ready for this next one. I don't think you're ready. Eric? What are we ready for? Oh, I got, I got something. So we got, uh, we got something else that we want to offer you. Uh, so 
we have this cool deal over at kl.by forward slash free book. So you can see on my screen, if you go to that website, it's going to take you to a landing page where you can get Scott Kelby's digital photography book sent to you for free. All you got to do is cover the shipping and handling. Yeah, that's it. That's you it. just got to cover the shipping and handling. It also gives you a free 14-day uh, trial to Kelby One, so you can try it out. So you're going to get the book. You're going to try out a Kelby yeah. One. All now these wait, classes that we've been talking about. You're, you're not getting an, an e-book. You're getting the, the actual, actual book. Physical. I'm shipping you the book yep. for free. This yes. is the best-selling book in the history of digital photography. Yes. It has been translated into dozens of different languages. It's sold all over the world. It's used as the classroom book in so many. My son's at his university mm -hmm. yep. and one of his fraternity brothers comes over and goes, Are, your, your name's Kelby, is, is your dad Scott Kelby? And he's like, yeah, how do you know my dad? He goes, we use his book as our, in our classroom. <laughs> yeah. And he's, he's, he's guys taking a photography class and they use it. But this, I've heard from teachers all over the world that use this book in their classroom. I'm gonna send it to you for free. It's yep. a $30 book. I'm sending it to you free. I think it's 34 now. Well, and that's a free thing. There's just a small stripping and handling charge. That's it. To do it. But you know, once you get that book, it's yours. It's yours to keep. Uh, try out the yeah. membership. We'd love for you to try it out. You know, we talk, it, we talk about it so much on the grid. We want to give away that people can experience the training that we're doing. And I think getting Scott's book in a physical form where it's not just an ebook, nope. it's also something you can take out on shoots, you can pack in your bag, you can do something with it. And then being to have all the resources you're going to get, you, you sign up for this, you're going to get access to the fast track that we've talked about. Yeah. You're going to access all the Photoshop classes we talk about all the Lightroom classes we talk about, all the Joe McNally classes we talk about. All the classes all, that we get, a yep. new class comes out every single week, all year long. We do it all the time. There's a new class coming out today. So hey, yeah. what is the new class? Christina, what's the new class? What's the new class? I don't know. I don't know where Christina is. I don't know where Christina is. <laughs> what's this week's new class? Um. Oh, it's the type class that Dave Clayton was doing. Oh, okay. Yeah, so a few weeks ago, you saw him on the grid. Dave yep. Clayton was doing a typography class, and uh, so that class is going to be released this week. And what's great about it is you can watch that class, or you can watch a thousand other classes that are up there. And he's not uh, just pulling a number out of a hat. We have yep. over a thousand full-length courses. Yep. And All so right. go, yeah, go to that website, kl.by. Look at that. nice comment. Yep, Deborah's saying, I still refer to Scott's book uh, for info. Lots of great stuff. Thank you, And I Deborah. think that's why, again, we want to get it into your hands, have that guide there that a lot of people are trusting, and then be able to have that resource. So just check it out over at kel.by forward slash free book. There you go. Is there, have we exhausted everything? We got a lot of, a lot of stuff today. I think today. we exhausted everything on our list. All right, so... Lots of opportunities for learning. Thank you guys for watching. And thanks to all of our sponsors. And welcome back to Slick Pick. We're glad to have them with us. Mm -hmm. And uh, we will see what next week we're on. We got a guest. Anything special? Next week we're on. I don't know if we have a guest lined up for next week. But, oh, Christina's looking at the schedule right now. She's looking at the schedule right now. It's just us. It's just us. Just a couple of lonely guys drinking beers and crying into our beers. Tears and beers. That's what's our. That's our topic for next week. Tears and beers. Anyway, thanks. Everybody. I don't know. I don't know. We might leave the alcohol out of it. It's working. Probably hours. not. Anyway, <laughs> but uh, thanks to the smooth movement of that jib. You know, Dobson's not running that jib, but <laughs> Dobson and I did get second place twice last night on Warzone. So there's that. Dobson. He can't run a jib, but when it comes to killing kids, he's great at it. Oh boy. That sounds bad. That's the quote of the week. There you go.
portrait and wedding photographer based in Valencia, Spain. I do mainly commercial and editorial photography and I retouch up to 100 photos a month. We shoot almost every day for all kinds of clients, such as commercial, beauty and fashion. And we retouch our work more often like every other day. I used to spend over one hour for one photo. If we want professional results, we must remove skin blemishes, do micro dodge and burn, highlight eyes, widen teeth, and even reduce wrinkles in clothes. And this can easily take me up to two hours of work for each photo. So when I saw that there's a plugin for Photoshop that helps you retouch quicker, I was eager to get my hands on it. I had many feedbacks about it, and I found a lot of positive reviews, which made me to consider buying my first plugin. One of the challenges we have at the end of a session or wedding is to achieve an addition in our photograph that looked natural. This is where retouch for me has become a game changer. I love the feature that you can pick how much effect it has on your photo and you can adjust it accordingly to your style. I saved a lot of time and always end up having amazing result with my work. I am extremely happy with the quality. Now, I am more efficient and have more time to spare with my family.